you will tune in to Daily Top 10 on your favorite entertainment channel as we take you on a ride through the most trending news around the globe. At number 10, Olamide is set to release first single in 2023. Popular hip-hop artist Olamide has announced the release of a new single for this year. Olamide and Kemo will appear on DJ Spinal's sixth album on the song Bonda, which will be released on January 20, 2023, according to DJ Spinal on his Twitter page. He wrote, and I quote, God is amazing. After securing Kemo's vocals, I flew to see Bado at his Ritz Carlton apartment in Atlanta, and he finally said yes to this song after five years of trying. I need you guys to tell the world about this. January 20th, we eat good. At number 9, Eden Hazard and others not in Ancelotti's plan for the season. The four players Real Madrid boss Carlo Ancelotti considers irrelevant to his plans this season have been revealed. According to Diario AS, Ancelotti doesn't count the likes of Eden Hazard, Jesus Vallejo, Mariano Diaz, and Alvaro Odriozola in his plans for the current season. The four players in question have hardly received any game time under Ancelotti. At number 8, Messi AK reacts after being accused of lying about her age. Reality TV star Messi AK has reacted after a Twitter user called her out for lying about her age. The drama started after she shared a snapshot of her PVC. Messi AK, who celebrated her 29th birthday only a few months ago, blurred out her date of birth. A Twitter user from using other information on the card to dig out Messi's profile had revealed her to be 32 years old from the government-issued voters card. In a response, Messi explained in a now-deleted tweet that there was an error in her date of birth on a permanent voter card and that she did not lie about her age. At number 7, Aisha Modi slams Shatawale for being disrespectful. Ghanaian socialite, entrepreneur, and brand influencer Aisha Modi slams Ghanaian reggae dancehall artist Charles Lee Armand Mensa Jr., popularly known as Shatawale, for claiming that actress Nana Ama McBrown lacks good presentation skills. The controversial dancehall artist threw shades at actress and TV presenter and said she should be replaced by a younger person who has a better understanding of the job while she sticks to her acting career. Aisha wrote an epistle which contains apology to Nana Ama McBrown and a slam warning to Shatawale, telling him to respect himself and knows that the actress is not his mate in the entertainment industry. Uh, Father Dixon, I beg, eh? You see, I respect you and despite so much because the innovations, the ideas, the, 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 the vision that you people have for this country is helping a whole lot of people. Please, check your radio stations and your TV stations. The programs you are doing is nonsense. It's nonsense. It's stupid. We have boys from Legon who have finished school and they have some ideas. Let them bring them on board. Nana Mama Gwai reacts. Nana Mama Gwai, she doesn't know anything about presenting. Sometimes if they present, them, somebody said they get counter arm. Mama, let us be real in this life. It's stupid. People are villagers. Stupid people. They are warring Ghanaians. They are warring Ghanaians. It's nonsense. Hey, it's nonsense. That's why y'all can't stop me, because you know why? Because I know what is nonsense. And this is, the, this is what you guys deserve. It's nonsense. I see ya. At number 6, Aproko Doctor shares brain tumor experience. Nigerian medical expert and content creator Dr. Chinonso Egimba, better known as Aproko Doctor, who has brought us laughs and medical advice for years, was recently diagnosed with a brain tumor in December 2022 and thankfully is recovering after successful surgery. The doctor shared the news on his Twitter page where he also detailed his near blindness experience, the challenges he had during that time, and much more. He also confirmed that his surgery was done in Nigeria as he trusts we have good hands in a country that will only need more investment in our health sector. Hmm, let's take a look at the video clip. One thing to understand at the end of this video is that health issues can happen to you no matter where you are, including me, because um, for the past three weeks or two weeks, I have been fighting for my life. Some of you have no idea, and uh, I'm going to tell you the story. It happened that on the 5th of December, I was diagnosed with a cranial pharyngioma, which is a brain tumor, and I had no idea I would be sharing my story because I had just finished shooting the last episode. We were in the process of editing it so that it's out. And <laughs> here, I, here I am, sitting on this seat, sharing my own story about how I had a tumor in my brain. At number 5, Real Worry Pekin wins big at the Humor Award. Nigerian comedian Anita Alaire Afoke Aswoha, popularly known as Real Worry Pekin, has taken to her Instagram page to celebrate her Humor Award wins. Real Worry Pekin, who won the Most Creative Comedy Show and Stand Up Comedian of the Year 2022 awards with a plot of land, dedicated the awards to all the women in the stand up comedy industry. She sends her appreciation in the post to the voters and supporters, and also to gear up women chasing their dreams to never stop. Big congratulations and more wins.
at number four. Tottenham to face FA and police investigation. Tottenham are facing an FA and police investigation after supporter kicked Arsenal goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale at the end of a Fury North London derby. But Charleston could also find himself in hot water for pushing Ramsdale in the face after Arsenal's 2 0 victory, which ended with the two sides needing to be separated. The club has now reviewed the CCTV footage to identify the supporter and will be working with the Mets police, Arsenal, and Aaron Ramsdale to take the strongest position action, including an immediate ban from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The FA promised strong action in conjunction with the police. The statement read, and I quote, We strongly condemn the incident involving a spectator that followed today's Premier League fixture between Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal. At number 3, colleagues host surprise bridal shower for Uchi Obodo. Nollywood actress Uchi Obodo couldn't help but shed tears of joy after she was treated to a surprise traditional shower by her colleagues and friends Anita Joseph, Rosie Mora, Oman Nadi, Yvonne Jagade, Moya Lawal, and so on. In the video shared online, Uchi Obodo, who recently tied the knots traditionally with her baby daddy, Bobby Maris, was invited into a room by her friends and was left in awe as they all stormed out and echoed, Surprise! The ladies went on to present a cake to her and wore her a traditional robe. The actress who appeared short of words could be seen shedding tears of joy over the a heartwarming gesture. Another video captured the moment they all partied hard, having fun like never before. At number 2, Gucci hits runway as fashion world awaits new designer. Gucci kicked off Milan Fashion Week with a lineup of slouchy, androgynous menswear styles, forging ahead with its latest collection while the industry awaits for owner Karen to name a new designer for the label. French luxury group Karen faces pressure to quickly find a replacement following the abrupt departure in November of Alessandro Michel, the flamboyant designer who was a favorite of Harry Styles and Lady Gaga, and reignite sales growth at its largest brand which accounted for two-thirds of profits in 2021. The longer the waits for a new Gucci creative director, the worse the Outlook for Karen, said Lucas Oka, analyst with Bernstein, noting that more of the same would not help the label regain its relevance with shoppers. At number one, Afrima holds eighth edition. Nigerian music stars Daminio Gulu, known as Burner Boy, Ayodeji Balugun, known as Whiskey, and David Adelike, aka David O, all clinched awards at the prestigious All African Music Awards, which took place in Dakar in Senegal. Grammy Award winning Burner Boy backed the Best Act in Africa Award and Best Album of the Year Award, beating the likes of South Africa's Kabsa de Small, Cote d'Ivoire's DDB, amongst others, at the eighth edition of the event. While Whiskey bagged the Best Act in West Africa Award, David O, the Best Male Act in Africa, an Inspirational Music Award. For his song High with David O, Adekule Gold won two awards, Best Act Group in African Contemporary Music and Best Act Duo or Group in African Pop. Ashake, who dominated 2022 with an unprecedented run, took home the Artist of the Year. However, Brimo, who has been in the news in recent times over a petition raised against him for his hate speech against the Ebos, didn't win in his category of Songwriter of the Year. And with that, we've come to the end of today's edition of Daily Top 10. For more updates and breaking news kindly follow us on all our social media handles thanks for tuning in bye for now